The Taroko Gorge, spectacular scenery forged by seismic upheaval. Those same seismic forces have now driven away the tourists who would usually be thronging this place about half an hour outside Hualien City. They come to see the wildlife, the cliffs and turquoise ocean, and dramatic rock formations, as well as Aboriginal culture. Some, though, have decided to push ahead with their holidays here, having already booked their flights and hotels. We're fine about it. It's just last night when we were at the hotel, we were a little bit afraid. The old people didn't sleep well. We all felt aftershocks. But it's clear from the absence of tour buses and crowds here and at the Hualien night market that tourism has taken a serious hit. People in the hospitality industry blame sensationalistic reports in the local media for scaring away tourists. They say the media reports have painted the whole of Hualien as a disaster zone. In fact, the earthquake did not affect Hualien so much. All the tourist attractions are intact, and there are just a few buildings that are affected. It's such a shame if some misleading reports are affecting tourism. While the gorge was completely unaffected, and the city of Hualien has bounced back rapidly from the quake, it will take longer for the tourism industry to recover. What we worry about is that the impact of an earthquake is not like a typhoon. A typhoon affects tourism and business for three to four days. The impact of an earthquake can last half a year, a year, even longer. People here say what would help Hualien the most in the aftermath of the quake is for the tourists to return as soon as possible. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Hualien, Taiwan.